Disney and Pixar's Up was directed by Pete Docter, and this movie came out um, 11 years ago today. This is the day when Disney and Pixar's Up came out on May 29th, 2009, and this is one of my Disney and Pixar's anim um, animated films, and here it is. And I don't have the case to it. The case is missing. All I have is the disc. I'll find a, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it like a little. I'll find like a little case to keep the disc um safe inside. And also, I did draw the uh the the the, the teaser movie poster that came out that time. So here's the drawing. And yeah, this is one of my Disney Pixar's animated films. I was looking forward to watching. I did watch this. I haven't watched this movie in a while. Um. I wa I rewatched the movie like twice, so that's a plus. So I can understand what's going on. So let's talk about it. So it's May 29th. This is when Disney and Pixar's Up came out in 2009, 11 years ago. So let's talk about it. In this movie, it's about it's about a young shy boy named Carl Fredrickson. So the movie opens up with Carl Fredrickson as a young little boy, and he also um he also um. What he also um discovers about an explorer named named Charles Munt, and he also meets this young. He also meets this. He also because he also loves adventure. He doesn't talk that much. He's a little shy. Until he meets this young. Until he meets this his. He, until he meets this little girl named Ellie, that she loves it, and also she loves adventure because they both love adventure. And the whole entire the whole entire time they fell in love, got married, and they actually um had a had a really good relationship life the entire like all these years until now when after ellie passes away um carl so after his wife uh passed away so until now until after his wife passed away carl it becomes carl fredrickson becomes a grumpy old man and he um yeah carl fredrickson um becomes a grumpy old man played by um he's voiced by ed asner that's his last name yeah it doesn't matter Ed Ed Asner. That that's all I know. And, and until um he he his his house is about to be taken away got due to circumstances or something. And and he decided to go ahead and, and like like have all these balloons come out of his chimney and uh, come out of his chimney and um and mostly his house just like flies away and goes like to South like probably like South America or something to to Paradise Falls. His 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 wife's childhood dream because he wants because him and his wife want to plant want to plant um plan their house in paradise falls and that was his um his um his his um his wife's his wife's dream his wife's childhood dream in the movie and until he meets this young boy scout until he meets this cub scout boy named um russell and and also meets and also he he got attached into this into this adventure and Carl Fredrickson didn't really ask for it. And until Carl Fredericks until Carl and Russell did bond a relationship. And also um and also they meet a dog and this bird. They meet the dog named Doug and the other and the bird named um Kevin. They named the bird Kevin in the movie. And until 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 um he until um Charles Mont becomes the main villain in this movie because he was famous back then. And now he becomes the main bad guy in the movie because all these dogs that he has, they actually probably talk with these, because they have these little collars and they actually can can speak with the with these probably these voice devices on their collars on their necks. And and Carl's dream was to go plant his um adventure in in Paradise Falls, and now he's just stuck into this situation. He has to get himself out of it. This is one of my this movie was so emotional. It was so sad. This movie was so powerful. This is one of my favorite Disney and Pixar films of all time, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's it's powerful. It's emotional. Everybody, like Disney Pixar fans ourselves, love Disney and Pixar's Up. We love Wally, Ratatouille, Toy Story, the 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 Good Dinosaur, Brave, and other Pixar films that we loved, including the Cars films that were fine. And the Good Dinosaur is not really my favorite all that much, including Brave is not really my favorite. I'm saying with all due respect, though. But, <coughs> but this is one. This is the most powerful Disney and Pixar film of the year, and this is easily the best emotional Pixar film of all time. Disney and Pixar did a really good job, including Pete Doctor. Pete. Every Pixar movie has great animation. They have really good animation all over the years since Toy Story, and. 
the first movie I'm talking about. And, pick, and, and basically what I love about this movie is Ed Asner as Carl Fredrickson. He's really good. I forgot. The, I don't know the. I don't know the actor. The the little young actor's name who plays Russell. I don't know. Russell's really funny. He is hilarious, but sometimes he can be a little annoying. But I, I can't blame him. But thing is, Carl Fredrickson is just a grumpy old man because his wife is no longer around anymore. And the entire time, I felt bad for him. That this whole time, I felt bad for him when he lost his wife. Um. I don't even know how the wife actually died. I think she died in her sleep or died from cancer. It's just really, really, really sad when the wife actually was gone. And it was so powerful. It was sad. It was... I understand it was it was, it was was really hard for that for, to let that person go. A person you loved all these years. And that movie... And that, and that actually tells you a relationship message that you actually love that person... Cause it's, I understand it's hard to let that person go, say goodbye and all that. Cause you're just like, I, I really, I'm, you know, all, and then all of a sudden, it's just, I don't know, it's complicated. But I'm really, I was really excited to go see this movie, and I didn't really see this in theaters back then. I actually watched this on Disney. I did watch this on DVD, which is right here. Like I said, I don't have the case. I will find another. I will find like a like an extra case for it to keep the disc safe from getting messed up. When I did rewatch the movie, the movie, when I actually put the disc in, the disc was out this whole time, um, the disc actually worked great. You know, when I watched the movie, the movie didn't get messed up. The movie was all good. I'm like, oh, I think I'm good to go. But this is one of Pixar's best films, probably since Toy Story or probably, well, I, I don't know. Um, but... But mostly the characters in the movie are pretty pretty talented. There's some really good, really good touching moments. There's some touching moments. There's some funny moments. Russell's hilarious. Funny. Funny. Russell is one of the funniest characters in this entire film. And Carl Fredrickson and, and um, Carl Fredrickson and Russell probably bond this really good relationship because they have that really good grandson and, and grandpa feeling, and that grandfather feeling, actually. And that was one of the best parts of the film, including this big bird named Kevin. Yeah, Kevin doesn't talk, but Doug talks. Talk, he talks because he has this little voice act, probably some kind of voice activator on his uh, on his collar, on his neck. And and he actually can't talk. The, the, Doug was so... You know, I'm a big dog lover. I love dogs. Doug was the greatest dog in this entire movie. You know, I, I love dogs. I'm a big dog lover, but... In this movie, we have we have um, we have Charles Mons, who's the bad guy in this movie, because we did get a flashback of him when he was young, and then until Charles Fredrickson, since they're both old, they actually met in person in the film, because that was one scene in the movie. In this entire time, they embark on these incredible adventures to Paradise Falls, to like all the way to the jungle or whatever, or well, not really the rainforest, mostly the jungle. In this entire time. Um, I really love the relationships, and and actually, this is like a bonding relationship between Carl Fredrickson and this and um Russell, because Russell is one of the funniest characters in this entire movie, and clean Carl Fredrickson. Um, Carl Fredrickson, I understand he's a little grumpy after his wife was recently passed away. I felt bad for him. You know, I understand he was a little grumpy when he actually goes through his adventure book. He just like I really miss all the flashback memories, and there was one scene in the movie where he was. There was one scene in the movie where he was actually sitting on his chair, looking at his book, going through all like going through some pages, all the really great times when he was spent time with his wife all these years, and that that tells you of it's I it tells you that it's really hard to say goodbye to that person that used the love like a best friend or like say if you like or like a wife a husband a best friend a mom or a dad or a brother or sister i understand it was really hard to say goodbye to them when they after when they were really really like say like say like say your brother say i say i have cancer like say if your brother say he has cancer and was he part of your life did he save your life he he saved your life he had your back it was really hard to say goodbye to that person and that's just one of the, and that's why Pixar actually gives you an emotional message about that person's life that you used to spend some time with before they, before they, before they're gone, or before they probably move away. 
it's flashback memories. It also gives you that really good flashback memory feeling. It's a flashback memory feeling of all the times you spend some time with that with that really lovable person that you the love for a very long time. And it's in the night in in the mostly um this entire time, um that's why Carl Fredrickson actually is giving you a message about it. Including um for Russell, he has this little so I think Russell has this little um little belt badge or something. He has one more he has one more um one more thing. He has one more um probably some kind of he I think he has one more badge to put on his um little belt badge or whatever you call that. I don't know. I used to be a Cub Scout. It's okay. Back when I was in elementary school, I used to become a I used to, I used to join the Boy Scouts in elementary school back at that time because I think they had some kind of some kind of some kind of um. Boy Scouts Club, and most, it's, I'm sorry guys, it's been a while since I got a chance to see this movie, it's been years, but I know, I just, I lucky I did rewatch the movie, like, twice, three times, so I can understand what's going on, and this movie was so powerful, with some really good performances, some really emotional, some emotional flashback, really good memories, from all the times you spend some time with that greatest person, and and I'm and Carl Fredrickson gives a really good adventure in Brighton's Falls, not what Paradise Falls. Sorry, why am I saying Brighton's Falls? I don't know why, but for Paradise Falls, because that was his dream, that was his wife's dream. But the wife is not around anymore, and I feel bad about that. He just like you know what I'm gonna go do this by my you know. <laughs> but he was he actually did go to Paradise Falls. Because he was planning his house there. And and everybody actually loved Up. I know Up is one of the best Pixar films of all time. Because Disney and Pixar always do really good with films. Like like all the Pixar films. Like the Cars movies, a lot of people say they were fine. Which I understand. But in my opinion, I love the Cars movies. You know, they're kids movies. They're little kids movies. Because um, this movie is more like a, a kids family movie about mostly adventure, backstory, back mem or flashback memories. It's also about adventure, about your dream adventure as well. It's also about um, taking place. It's also about what's your dream of where you want to travel. Like if you want to go travel like in Paris, France, you want to go travel in the mountains or whatever. And that was that was um, the that was that was um, Ellie's dream. Ellie, the um, Ellie um, Carl Fredrickson's wife. That was her childhood dream that she wanted to go to um, um, Paradise Falls and plan the house there because that was the biggest dream of their lives and mostly that's, this is all um, for the most part it's a good movie it's Pixar, you know mostly Pixar fans love this movie and so do I when I actually seen the trailer for this movie I'm just like what's this movie about and then when I actually watched this entire movie I was just like this movie was so this movie was so powerful. It's a powerful emotional movie about an old man who re, who lost his wife and bomb who recently lost his wife and I felt bad and everybody including myself felt felt bad about it. He becomes a grumpy old man, bonds a relationship with this young with this young boy scout, embarks on this incredible journey, meet a dog and a bird, and meet his his favorite childhood explorer. Um, child Munch, who becomes the bad guy in this entire movie, and I was, I was just like, I didn't even know he was going to be the villain, but he was the best villain, because Charles Munch in the movie, he was the best villain in this entire movie, and, and that was one of the best parts of the movie, and mostly, every Pixar movie is supposed to have a villain, mostly, well, every, you know, mostly every, every, every movie doesn't have to have a villain, and some, and most movies do not, do need to have a villain, and Pixar did a really excellent job with this beautiful, emotional, powerful film. It's a kid. It's basically for kids, but it's also for families. It's also for adults and teenagers. And you know, adults are gonna are gonna cry after they watch this movie, or they're probably gonna look at the the, the touching. There's some really good touching moments where adults are actually gonna cry. Adult like like mostly adults are gonna cry with the, with those emotional parts, and probably kids are gonna be like, "Why are you crying?" This is so sad. Because it is sad. And the child has to understand that. 
And the child has to understand that. And and that was one of the, and this is um a really good Pixar movie. It's I don't know. Sorry guys. It's been a while since I've seen this movie. So, hang on. Alright, so the animation is really good. Everything is all great with the movie. Um, the Russell was funny. Carl Fredrickson was funny, but emotional. Carl Fredrickson is emotional. Grumpy, funny. He's really good. Most of the characters are really good in the film. I loved all the casting in the movie. The voice work worked. I love the voice work. I love the animation. I love when they actually um, talked about... Because Pixar is looking like, I think we should create a movie about an old man who lost his wife, who bonds with this young Boy Scout, embark on his incredible childhood dream, or his wife's dream, to Paradise Falls. And that's where they actually, Pixar probably wrote it down to figure out how can they make a really great Pixar movie like they did right now. And yep, yeah, this is Disney and Pixar's best movie of all times, and that's all I gotta say for this movie review. Yep, and there's some really good action sequences. The action scenes are mostly fun. The action sequences are pretty fun. The adventure is fun. Everything in this movie is such a positive, a positive way to give, give, like give um that Pixar fan those messages of all the times of all the flashbacks. Of all the flashbacks and all these adventures that they've been dreaming of for a long time and all that kind of stuff. And this is easily Pixar's emotional, powerful, best film of all times. And I don't know if this movie actually won an Oscar or something. So, hopefully, I might I might say I think this movie probably won an Oscar, I think. But that's all I gotta say for this movie review for Disney Pixar's Up. Well, Disney Pixar's Up. So, that's all I gotta say for this movie review for Big, for Disney Pixar's Up. I actually love this movie. It was so powerful, so emotional. If you haven't even seen the movie, it's just that I didn't want to give too much away if you haven't seen them. It's just that I, I didn't want to give too much away that much. If you haven't seen the movie, watch it. Um, that's all I gotta say for this movie review. So, I understand it's been years, well, mostly 11 years, or 2009, since Disney and Pixar Up first came out in theaters. And that's all I got to say for this movie review. So be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button. Follow me on it. Sorry. Like, subscribe, press the notification button. Follow me on Instagram. Comment down below. And I'll see you on my next video. And thank you for watching.